Hi, this is Jakobus. Uh, I just wanted to quickly do a quick tutorial on uh, how to import a floor plan into your AutoCAD file that, and then scale it so that you can use that as your base uh, to work from. To begin, open up your AutoCAD. Uh, this is already a project file that we've already got a floor plan, I mean, image, uh, a site image, a drone shot in um, with some kind of measurements and things. We're going to ignore that. We're just going to open, start the process by opening up XREF. This is your kind of uh, menu selection from the top here, you can select which uh, what you want to attach. Uh, we want to attach an image, so click, click on that, find through your Explorer the, the, the image where it is or the plan, click on that, um, and then just wait for a bit before it loads. Um, while it's loading, a kind of page is going to open up a dialog box um, that's going to ask you to you know specify, you know, insertion point, you can specify your actual grid if you want or your scale. I kind of just say, pick all of that say on screen so I just say okay um, and then once you've got it you can just you'll see at the bottom here I'm placing it and once you've placed it uh, you've now imported your your floor plan your sketched floor plan into your um, into your project folder or project file um, first thing I do then is I select the, the, the image and then I fade it um, under image selection on the left here so my setup is a bit different my Kind of toolbars on the left normally it's at the top of the page um, all right so once you've got that you can now use this to work on you can see here on my drawing i actually kept i put a scale in um, so i've got a seven meter or you know seven thousand millimeters as my reference um, to kind of scale the drawing so what you'll first do is you'll start by um, picking the one point creating a line picking a, the base of that um, seven meter um, measurement and then you'll enter um, your units in this drawing it's uh, one millimeter uh, it's a millimeter drawing so 7,000 millimeters equals one meter so 7,000 millimeters equals seven meters sorry so that's what I'm doing here so that's actually entering seven meters and you'll see there's a discrepancy now between this is an actual dimension uh, actual size and what my um, actual JPEG has as seven meters so we need to scale down this drawing to match this uh, real world measurement. So what you then do is you select the image, the JPEG that you've got, the sketch plan. Um, you hit the command SC, which is short for scale. Um, you then select the base um, of that seven meters that you have. And you'll see here now you can just start scaling it, um, you know, using your cursor. Or you can see on this, there's a specify scale factor in the dialog box. Um, this isn't accurate enough, so we are going to ignore that. And you'll see at the bottom of this, my page here, my um, command line, there's an option to type in reference, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit reference, and it allows me to, it says specify reference length. So what you then do is select the base point. Um, you then select the reference that you want to become seven meters or 7,000 millimeters, which is the, the, the drawings reference line. And then you'll see how I'm bringing it down and make reducing the actual scale plan the plan um, and now I'm going to match it to the existing seven meters or 7,000 millimeters and what I've done now is I've scaled this floor plan to this 7,000 millimeters so you can see if I do that it matches seven um, meters and if I you know were to take this one which is also meters a check you know it's nine seven nine 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 eighty which is a uh, thousand as a meter so it's it's close enough it's good enough to work with um, and then what you then do is you'll, you'll see that you can then start drawing your floor plan. Uh, when you do that, uh, it's very important to not follow the drawing exactly. So for example, if you um, have this measurement here, it shows it as a 1560 or 1749.4241. These are dimensions that you actually can't use when building. So um, you want someone to be able to take a tape measure and to actually give you an, to be able to say, okay, this is the number it needs to be. So we're gonna work with 1550. Um, That'll be our starting point, and then we'll say, okay, uh, you know, table, standard table length is 600 mils, so it's maybe, you know, we'll work on 600 mils, or you can even get 500 mils is also good enough, so we'll work with 500, um, you know, the width of a, a wall with insulation, all that, let's work with 200 millimeters, um, and so you actually using the, the drawing as a guide, but it's not, it's not set in stone, so, you know, for example, if there has to be any changes, um, maybe uh, you know toilet size isn't showing 100% correctly or a, or a couch size or a armchair size isn't correct you would use actual uh, real size real world dimensions to make your your floor plan 
um, and that way you can keep the idea of drawing by hand in your kind of workflow and your design um, you know which adds soul and character to your design but you don't lose the accuracy that you get from working on computer i hope that's been useful have a fantastic day bye